What? Why are you crying? See this why? Nancy for fancy. I want to talk to you guys today about harvesting your collard greens. How to harvest collard greens. So welcome you guys to my farm. Everything's been going wonderfully. If you were here for the last video, you remember we had just started seeding some stuff. Radishes, lettuce, um, more radishes, spinaches, of course beets, and our broccoli as well as our collards. So let's talk about these collards. Check these out. Collard greens are a cool weather crop. They actually really enjoy the cool weather and so I was a bit lucky in getting a little light frost these last couple of days. So with that being said, these are a really good variety, very hardy, and they're really good. They're really sweet when you get that frost on them. Um, so that's a good thing. So check out these leaves, pretty large. Um, not too much pest damage. A couple of them, yeah. But those are the ones I'm probably gonna harvest and um, take home and put in my own pot. But I do have three or four orders that we have to get harvested today. So that's what we're gonna do. First, let me talk to you about pests. I'm probably gonna make another video about pests and doing pest control in the garden and stuff like that. So collard greens are gonna have a couple different types of pests, particularly the aphid, the harlequin bug, and the cabbage worm. When harvesting your collard greens, you're gonna definitely need some tools. Got our if code, we definitely got our harvesting shears. Always wear the proper PPE. <laughs> and then we also got our rubber bands for banding. Um, what, baby? I don't know, move. Go find something for that. Oh my. So, when you harvest, the large outside leaves are what we are going to want to take from the plant. And then that gives the chance for the center leaves to start to kind of grow back out, which will give us a couple of successions of greens. I'm gonna go down the aisle and go ahead and harvest. Hey, I'ma whoop your ass, Brayden. <laughs> So, just gonna go in here and just right down to the base. Do you want it? Just like that. And so we'll have like, look at that, isn't that pretty? And you know, we'll band together a couple. Just go in here. Mommy, I want the water. You want the water? Going. You are watering. So we'll take these. That's it. Just like that. It's got three or four leaves. Take them. What are you doing? All right. So yeah, a nice good bunch. And you know, take that bunch. Duh, we'll just band it. H-E-B, what?
let me see you dab on them one time. And the broccoli. Oh! Say broccoli. Broccoli. So hey guys, check this out. One more special thing I want to show you, of course, is my purple sprouting broccoli. These beauties. See my side shoes right here? What I want to do is kind of come and cut right under here and take this main head so that these side shoots can start to sprout out. I'm gonna kinda show you where I did that on another one. So here is where I came in and I took that main head and we got these side shoots really getting vigorous and kinda sprouting out. So um, that's what we wanna see. Oh, look at this clover. nice and ready oh yeah that's ready for some planting don't mess with my raised beds I gotta be on the case y'all I got to be on the case. I want to thank you guys for watching. My first deliveries. I want to eat those. <laughs>